Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa, and welcome back to my channel, girlfriends. We are doing this look today. Not my hair. I did, I did my hair a different way, too. <sighs> I really like it. So, this is the first time I've done it, and I think I'll be doing it again because it was so easy for me to do. And maybe that's what we'll do next week. I'll show you how to do my hair and what I used to do this with. But, however, right now, we're going to learn how to do the simplistic makeup, very easy you will love it. Just, just walk along with me. You know, it's hard to do when we get our older faces. So, I gave you lots of tips and tricks here. So, come on, let's go do it. Okay, here we are. We're going to get started with this face. See, I do not have Botox. I've never had Botox. So, what you see is what you get here. I don't have anything done. I've got brown spots, which I need to go and really check this one out. And these over here, I've got to make me an appointment so bad. But the first thing I'm going to put on my face, I've already done all of my uh, skincare. I did use Charlotte Tilbury. I love this. This is her, oh my gosh, it is such a nice lotion. It's called Magic Cream. But this is what I do. I put it on first, let it sit, and then I come back and do another layer. Then it's really, really moisturized. I love it. It's the perfect, perfect stuff for my face. Now, this is for diminishing your pores on your nose. Yeah, I'm gonna use another primer, but I need this to be specific in one spot, and this really works. This is that Smashbox Minimizes Pores. Love it. You don't need much. You take it, put it on your fingers, and put it right where you need it, which is here's where I need it, just right here. Make like a little triangle, pretty much. Because that's where I tend to break down a lot, especially here now. It's, you know, springtime and I sneeze a lot because <laughs> of all the pollen. Yeah, I do have that. So, what I have on my eyes, by the way, is Smashbox. This is such a pretty palette. It's a, two, a cool and a warm tone palette. See how pretty that is? And I'm not wearing, I'm wearing this side here. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Pops of color. I love this too. It comes in some other colors too. So you, I got it, I think at Ulta. Pretty sure I did. Now, we're going to use BB cream today. And a lot of people are scared of BB cream. I had a lot of ladies ask me about it because they, they feel like they don't get the coverage they need with it. But however, I really do like it. And I think it's perfect for summer. And I did this the other night on my ladies night and it turned out so beautiful. So I thought I would come here and show you if you don't follow me on, uh, Facebook. Let me spray this. Oh, that feels so good. Now, this is a setting spray. Yes, I am going to start with that and just let that kind of go into my skin. I've already put my Smashbox on, and then we're going to ease into doing the other stuff to my face. So, I'll usually let this sit maybe about five minutes. So, let's let that happen, and I'll be back. Alrighty, girlfriends. Let me show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this Bare You. This is Illuminating Primer, Face Primer. Absolutely fabulous. Love it. And we're going to pair it with a BB cream. Yes, we are. I might mix two colors. I'm not sure. I haven't decided that yet. But we also are going to use this. This is Unique's Beauty Oil. I swear by it. It's my favorite product ever. Uh, when I order this, I order two because I do go through it. I use it every single day, every morning, every night. It's wonderful. And so the sheen that you see right now is this. Yes, that's what I've got on my face. and But it has absorbed and it's not greasy. It just makes your skin so pretty and soft. I love it. Now, I am going to use, I think I'm going to use RMS. I'm going to use their concealer uh, just a little bit right to the center of my face, nowhere else. And then um, we're going to, that's it. That's all I want to use. And, you know, I've already done my eyes, so I don't have to do that. So, let me spray a little bit of this Prime and Set on. Uh, this is Unique's Prime and Set. It really does make a difference just kind of spraying it like that. And I have already applied my Smashbox. I'm just looking for it now. I put it, oh, I put it back over here. I already have this on. Now, the only one where I use this is just my T-zone area. Okay, just around my nose here and right underneath and maybe right out here on this. Because that's where my pores are really bad. But this is really nice. It's very, very creamy. And it just blends into your skin and it's so soft when you use it. So, I do recommend this highly because it does minimize your pores. If you have larger pores, you may love this. I think this is their trial size. So, 
get the trial size and, and try it out. I, I'm sure I got it at Ulta, <laughs> like everything else in my life. Okay, so I'm going to have a little dish because I'm going to mix everything up on the little dish here. Isn't that cute? It's a summer dish. It says chill out. I wished I was chilling out somewhere like on the beach. Well, that wouldn't be too chilly, though. Would that be hot? But I would love it. I would. So what I'm going to do is take everything and drop it here. And then I'm going to mix it up. Um, I have a spatula somewhere over here. I probably need to have gotten that out. I could just do it with my finger and not a spatula. But the spatula is really nice. And, oh, here it is. Ta-da! You can get these at Walmart. Yes, ma'am. Get you one at Walmart. They're great. Let me lay this down. Now, let's do our concoction. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Um, or I can just mix it with it. I kind of like this one just in my T-zone area, pretty much, because the, the other is so, so pretty. But since we're going to do the whole entire face, let's just go with it, okay? Let's just go with this. There's your pump right there. And I'm just going to kind of mix this up. And you can mix it all together if you want to. I'm just kind of giving my, because it's hot here in Alabama, believe me, <laughs> it's hot. So what I'm going to do is just put it everywhere, down my nose. Yeah, it feels so good, too. And it gives your skin just a beautiful, healthy glow. Now, I am going to mix a little bit of it in with what we're going to do. So, I think I'm just going to use one color. Uh, this is fair light. And then this one is uh, just light. I think I'm going to use the light color. I have mixed these together before. But, let's do this. Let me put some in my little plate here. And you don't need much. That's probably way too much. Just one little pump's all you need, really, to do your whole entire face. Now, we are going to add a drop of this. So let me get the dropper here. We're going to add just a drop, maybe two of that, maybe two little drops, okay? Then, <laughs> yes, we have more to do. And then we're going to come back and we're going to add a little bit of that primer, okay? Just a tad of it. Not much. It's a little bit of that primer. So there you are. Now we're going to use our little spatula. It's like cooking in the kitchen. And so stir, there we go. Smooth it all out. Now this is really cool because the way I'm going to put this on, and make sure you mix it up well. You can see I'm mixing it up well. And whatever you have left, you can just kind of pop on your face because that's what we're going to do with this anyway. A little bit but first of all i'm going to use my rms i'm going to use this this is a um this used to be their con their foundation but now it's the concealer <laughs> i do love this one this is the color 11 and i'm going to take a little bit of this just because i want some light through the center of my face and i already have that primer on see what i'm saying that's the reason lisa put the primer on okay because i was going to add this first and this is what i did the other night and what you might want to do um, is check out, I have a link for this too. You just you just go try stuff. You try what you love first before you go buy anything else, okay? Try it with what you have. That You don't have to go out and buy something, you know, to um, make it work. You know what I'm saying? If you've got something, just try it with that. And then if it doesn't work for you, then you go and get the other stuff, okay? But I do want to cover this up. So I had... Um, I have a Derma Blend. I don't know where I put it, but that is like really good. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This right here. This is full coverage. So this is what I did yesterday. I don't know what color this is. I'll list what color it is. They have a lot of colors, but what I did was dab it on like that. And then I came over here and just kind of did the same thing right here where I have that brown spots. And then what I did was I took a Beauty Blender like this. I'm gonna use a dry one though. This one's wet, this one's dry. So I usually have two to work with. I took a little bit of a powder, whatever loose powder you have. This happens to be Laura Mercier, and that's what I'm gonna to use today because it's, you know, it's not so white. It's just beautiful and it blends in nicely. And all I did was just pat over that and just to set it. And you know what? It stayed and it got rid of the color I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I really do need to go and just get a, uh, I really just need to have a chemical peel, I think. Start over. <laughs> I've had one 
many, many years ago. It was kind of, you don't go anywhere for like a week because your face is going to start peeling. And But however, when it's over, your skin is just so pretty. It is. It's just so pretty. Now, there we go. Ta-da. We've set that. Now we're ready to go. So let's take a little bit of this. And we are not going to use this a whole lot. I know I've got too much. I'm an overachiever, no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I tell you, there's so much going on in my life right now. I'm trying to make a lot of decisions. Um, you know, I'm, I'll am i be 62 in September. And so for me, I don't know. I don't know if y'all feel that way. I, I still work full time and you know, I like being around people and stuff like that, but I kind of want to do my own thing, you know, before I ain't here no more. So, like kids, like my grandchildren, go hang out with them sometimes instead of, you know, every day just being the same old, same old and go to work, stay there, work all day. You know, it's that kind of thing. So, I got to make that decision. What do y'all think? Give me some, give me your thoughts, you know. I mean, I've been with the state a while now, but I mean, you know, they want you to wait till 67. I may not be here then. So I decided <laughs> that I'm just going to go ahead and go. I pretty much, that's what I want to do. Now you can either use a beauty blender. You can use a brush for this. That's up to you. You can even use your fingers for this. If you just want to blend it in, I wouldn't recommend your fingers, but you could, you could try it. Okay. But it's absolutely beautiful on the skin. I think that I want to use a brush. And this one is one of my favorites. This is um, 106. This is a BKD brush. Or I could use this one, which is her foundation brush. I like these two. This one is number 101. Let's do 101. I like the way this is angled. It's very soft. Very soft. So start on one side of your face. And I should have something here to clip my hair back. Darn it, I don't. So let me clip my hair back. All right, we're ready. <laughs> I've gotten it. That I like my hair. I did something new today with what I did. I have a new crimper. And so, my thought process was, I'm going to wash my hair. Because I was on third day hair. So, I had to wash my hair. Or I wouldn't be able to comb it. <laughs> pretty much. Look how pretty this is. Look at that. Y'all know, this is like amazing. Great for summer. Just think now. I already have on the SPF of my Nevia lotion, which I will link to. I love it. It's a 50, uh, it's a 50 sunscreen. And this has, I have to look up this one. This has sunscreen in it too. So it might have 20 SPF. I'm not sure. But however, mixing the two makes it, look at that. Oh my goodness. Now, if you wanted to do underpainting, you probably could. Um, I just thought of that, but I am going to just light my face up just a little bit. I did use that palette. I've already done my eyes. Look at my brows. They need help. <laughs> Why do your brows have to go away as you get older? See? See how that did over this? It worked really well. You see? It blends right into it, and you can't really see those brown spots. That was a fluke. I just tried it, and I said, my gosh, it worked, so... That's why I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> Truly, that's why I'm sharing it. So, we're going to be anti-aging today. Do, do I look anti-aging? I mean, that's really pretty. Now, I am going to set it with powder. I am going to use the Laura Mercier because I like it. Because it's like more like skin color. So, it's going to be uh, probably what I use most of the time. And I will do some baking right here. And that's a little trick if you're new here. It's something that I do so we don't use as much powder okay, over our face. Don't have to use as much. So, that will be at the end, though, okay, when I get totally done. So, now we're going to grab some other things. We're going to finish my face out really quickly. I'm going to use Unique's Uni Pink because that is just a beautiful color. You, you just go ahead and finish out like you like it. And I do love this uh, Barely Bronze, but I also love NYX. Uh, a lot of you know that I love NYX, and <laughs> this one is about gone. Look at that. So, I do have a new one. But under here, I love to do like a V, like a V underneath. And then I just follow that path right up to my ear and do it on this side. See, 
This is going to, see that? It's going to give you a snatch next, what it's going to do. And then come right underneath here. And you're going to blend all this out. It's not a big deal. Do a little on your nose if you want that on your nose. Because I like a little small nosy sometimes. My nose has gotten wider as I've gotten older. How about y'all? Why does that continue to grow? Your ears are tend to continue to grow too. <laughs> Darn it. I tell you. You just got to laugh at life, I'm telling you. You just, I don't know. Sometimes I just wonder about my own self. I really do. Now, I am going to put a little bit. Let's see what color this is. This is, I don't want that color. So, I'm going to put a little bit of Barely Bronzed. Not much of this. But it is a nice little bronzy color. And that I'm going to put it like in between these two. Okay? Just have a little depth. A little bit of bronziness. Because summer's coming up, and I just love when summer comes. But I hate it when it gets really hot here in Alabama, which it will. Alabama's like, don't come here in summer. Don't. Wait till fall. Or maybe early spring. <laughs> you will suffocate if you come here in the summer. You will. So I'm using BK Beauty Brush 110. I'm just going to come blend all this out. See how that blends together so pretty? Yep. <laughs> I'm happy today because guess what? Mark is, we are going to go out to dinner tonight. We never hardly get any time alone. Now, let me just tell you, my life, since Mark and I have gotten married, we've been together 13 years. Um, and he has children. I have children. We He has grandchildren. I have grandchildren. I mean, we are just running crazy trying to keep up. I can't keep up with everybody's schedule. So, I tell them just, you know, if send me the schedule so I'll have it number one but sometimes stuff overlaps and so it's just hard being such a blended family but Mark and I don't have any children together except for dogs <laughs> we have dogs so I like my dogs I do my dog are my dogs y'all know that I am a dog advocate if y'all didn't know <laughs> I get really angry, angry sometimes. But if you if you're a dog person, let me tell you, go to the Asher House um, on YouTube. That man is amazing. He saves more animals' lives than anybody I've ever seen, and he loves it. And I love to watch him when he gets doggies. Now he typically will go and save dogs that are on the youth list. So that's one thing I like about it. So, you see these dogs, like I watched it today. He had rescued some, and one of them was a husky, and she was going to be euthanized, and she had lost a leg. So, I guess they thought maybe she was just unadoptable. Nobody wanted to adopt her that way. She was beautiful. He got her out of there. Now, she's going to be living the life. Oh, girl. Now, I'm using a little bit of Anastasia. I like to do my brows like this. Put a little bit. You don't have to use a whole lot. But it does help getting your hairs going in the right direction. And so when you start to do your brows, it'll be so much easier. Because you got to let it dry, though. Don't try to do it over it right now, but let it dry. I usually go ahead and do that myself. So I'm going to do I'm gonna do my under eyes really quickly. I love doing under eyes. Um, I didn't used to love doing under eyes, but I do now. I have a really uh, new, this Maxine's Revenge. I'm going to use a little bit of this. And what we're going to do, instead of me dabbing it on with the uh, applicator, this, I'm going to put it just like I did the other stuff on the back of my hand. The back of your hand is probably the best place to do it because it's warm. You know, it'll warm it up. And you don't need much. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of Huda. Now, Huda, my friend. So, Lori, my friend Lori, told me about another um, good concealer. And I'm going to try it. She said she was shocked. So, I'm going to get that shock factor too, hopefully. <laughs> so, there we go. We're going to mix this together on the back of your hand. I love doing this. You can do it. I promise you. And once you get a routine down, I'm walking you through it. So, it takes me longer, you know, because I talk. But... And I do. I love to. I love to connect with others. So I'm gonna do that. And guess what? I'm gonna take this and put it here and down the center of my nose, and a little bit above my cupid's bow, just to give it a little brightness through there. And that's nothing wrong with that. 
And then we're just gonna blend it out. I'm gonna let this sit for a second. And then typically what I do is go ahead and get that beauty blender that's wet. And I'll just come right up through here with it. I'm so happy summer's about here. I really am, I like summer. Well, I don't like the hot, but I like summer. So take your fingers, your ring fingers, your least resistance, and pat it all the way out. And what I like to do is push downward and then push outward. And don't do it fast. Just place it where you feel like you need it the most and come back and look at it, which I always do. I like it. I do. Let me see. Okay. That looks pretty darn good. So let me go. I'm going to do my brows and then I'll be back and then we'll finish everything up. Okay. Let's finish this up. Look at my brows. I got a new pencil for brows. I really do like it. Um, I'm going to do some, I'm going to film something for that because I think brows need to be done by themselves. That way you can come back to it and you don't have to search through a video to find it. Um, so maybe next week we will do the brows like I just did here. And I didn't use a stencil or anything like that. I just created some brows and I like what I'm doing. It, it took me a while to figure out how to do it, but it's very easy to do. Now we're going to do that baking I talked about. We're going to use this, put it on here. Now this is the moist beauty blender. Okay. So I'm going to pop it there and I do this all the time. So if you've watched me on my channel on, um, uh, Facebook, then you know what Lisher's doing. This is what Lisher does, and I put it maybe right there and right there. Not a whole lot. Not. Now, I still have to do my under eyes. I have not set it. I like for mine to sit for a few minutes, and that way I can come back and look and see if it's settled anywhere, and this has not. <laughs> Yay! Y'all love it, does you will. Yeah, I'll link everything. So, you see that? This is so light, it just flies through the air. But I like to take a little brush like this. I think using all that other stuff is just, I don't know why people use all that. You can use a brush that's really light. This is BK Beauty's um, 201. Very nice brush to do this with. Very soft. It's small. It's easier for me to do um, just because it's, you know, I can hold it back here and I can just dab. I have tried those little square thingies, you know, everybody's using the wet. I don't they don't work for me. Uh, but well, so I just stick to this. And it works perfectly. It does, it does. I love it. Now, we're gonna finish up. I did go ahead and do my lips. So on my lips I have Gone Grease, it's by Maybelline, and it's Gone Grease 104. This is a Maybelline lip liner. Love it. And it looks like this when you go and hunt for it in the store. That's what it looks like. I love it. And sometimes I can't find it and I just order it. You can order it off of Amazon because it is one of my favorite colors. So, put this back up. I used all my goodies on my brows. So, I think this looked out pretty, pretty, pretty good, girlfriends. Let me take this one time and let's just kind of finish out my face a little bit since I put my every all everything under my eyes. I'm actually going to come back in this palette and we're going to use this color here. That light color on this side, because I think that may be complementary to what I have on. And remember now, you can mix cool and warm tones if you want to. It doesn't matter. You do you, okay? I just like to come back and put this right here, because it really does brighten up the eye. And I'm going to use another color out of here to do a little bit of highlight. Not a whole lot, just a little. There are a lot of ways you can highlight, but I... um. I'm going to use this color right here for the center of my lips. Yeah. If you want something that's going to stay on, I got to blend that out up there. We got to blend all this powder out too. So, but if you want something that stays on your lips, like you, you put this on and squeeze it, and I'll blend it out. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put just a tad of it, like right up there. Blend that with your finger. It just gives you a little bit of lightness there. But look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, it's kissable. And it doesn't come off on you. Because <laughs> that powder sets it. 
I do this a lot. It's great in the south because it's so hot here. Your body going to melt anyway. So let me put all of this goodness. See that little bit of powder, how that smooths it out, blends in so pretty, and you're going to love it. If I sound southern, I am, girls. I can't help it. <laughs> it's just me. Okay, you know I love this. This is my revolution. I'm going to use that really quickly. Shake it up. Let me grab my beauty blender because it's hiding under here. I'm on, I think I'm going to use the dry one because I've been using, I got too much stuff on the other one. I've got to clean it. So do this. Spray it. I spray it twice. And then do this across here. So what that's going to do is set the center of your face. T-zone area. Remember? T-zone area. That's it. Because this is where you're... Typically, it's going to break down in the center of your face because that's usually where mine happens. Um, so make sure you use something like this. And then in the end, I do spray everything. That feels so good. <laughs> it does. It's just... It's so light. It's, it's my favorite... Favorite, favorite. I've tried the Morphe one like this, but I like this one better. I've been using this one. I mean, I don't know how it has anything left in it because I've been using it for a long time. So, let's take my hair down and let's see what we get, girlfriends. Fluff, fluff up your hair. Make it look, you know, all ratty looking. <laughs> I'll have to go back and fix it again. But, however, there you go. You have a simple, simple, simple way of doing your face. And it looks very, very natural because that's what I was after today. So pretty. I will link everything below. And please like and share and click that notification bell. I am here on Sundays only. So come and hang out with me. If you want to come over to Facebook, um, I am Unique by Melissa. And I'll put a link there for that, too, so you can come and join us there. On Thursday nights, we have Ladies' Night. And then I pretty much go live every day, except for Wednesdays. I don't do Wednesdays uh, because I have... No, I do Wednesdays. That's right. I, th I was thinking about not doing Wednesdays just to give me a break in the middle of the week. But, however, right now, I pretty much go live every day, and then I do this uh, for you, too, here. All right. Y'all go and have a fabulous day. And I will see y'all next week. See you later.